Check out my shoes. All right, we're done. Hi, it's Tuesday. You watch a Tasty Tuesday. Sure, it's Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Hey, cool lipstick, me. Thanks, me. I've been editing videos all day, and sometimes I just try to look a little bit prettier than how I feel. So that really means a lot. I appreciate it. Happy 4th of July! Today I thought we'd make some more ice cream, but this time it will be a sorbet as requested by you. So for this 4th of July, I thought I'd make you something that'll keep you cool during this hot weather. Something with booze, cause America, we like to party, holla. And um, something Italian. America's a melting pot. Okay, phew, way to bring it back to us. Sorbet with booze, more like sor yay. Let's make this dish. To make this sorbet, we gotta start by making some lemon simple syrup. We have made simple syrup before. We have never been great at it. But today we're gonna be sore great. We're gonna take a medium saucepan or a larger one. I don't really know how much this will hold, but hopefully enough. We're gonna put three cups of water and one and a half cups of sugar. Do it. I've been told you have to measure dry ingredients with these measuring cups and wet ingredients with this measuring cup. So that's what I'm doing in case you're wondering and I look excessive. I want to do a good job. Cool. Oh, can you even see? You can't even see. Ugh, look over there. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Pay attention. Now we're gonna heat this up and kind of like stir it until the sugar dissolves. So yay, this is so fun. This is gonna be the white part of our red, white, and blue. Once your sugar is dissolved into your water, we're gonna add the zest of some lemons. This is the zest of two lemons. It took me a little bit of time to do this and the zest went everywhere. More like messed. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Add it until the water boils and then reduce to a simmer for five minutes. Now that our mixture has been simmering for five minutes, we're gonna take it off the heat. We're gonna take a fine mesh strainer and strain it into a bowl. Yeah, you fine. <laughs> I'm flirting with my strainer. This is to get all the lemon zest out of our sorbet. We don't want it. It's trash. Ew. I never liked you. Great. And we're gonna add three and a half tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. This came from the lemons that made the zest. Did you guess? What a mess. Yay! This does not look white at all. This looks very yellow. In the picture, it looked a lot whiter. We might have to change the flag. So now's the hard part. We have to wait for this mixture to cool completely. Because of my poor time management skills, it's very late at night right now, so I don't have time to let this cool completely tonight. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge and let it cool overnight. Oh my god, that's hot. Very hot. Who knew that something that just came off the stove would be so very hot? Anyway, I'm gonna put it in the fridge overnight. I'm gonna put whatever vodka you're using, Put it in the fridge overnight. I'm obsessed with this vodka right now, plus it's very fitting. It's Smirnoff's Red, White, and Berry. Cherry, Citrus, and Blue Raspberry, which is also perfect because we're using citrus and we're using raspberries tomorrow when it's done. It's not sorbet yet. This is not the finished product. Stop judging it. Chill, everybody. Netflix and chill. Oh, clean out your fridge and then net fridge and chill. Get out. See you tomorrow. Hi, it's tomorrow now. Time to finish our sorbet and see if it works. So our simple syrup's been chilling in the fridge overnight. Our booze has been chilling in the fridge overnight. This should be a very uh, delightful, refreshing food item. Hopefully, see if it works. Oh, get this ice cream thing down. A very tall man put this up here. We can do this. I am woman. Hear me roar. All right. Did it. You didn't think it could happen. She was wrong, hater. Okay, what are we gonna unplug? Probably this Keurig, because it's blanking. Everyone hates that. Okay, so we're gonna take a half a cup of our booze, whatever vodka you choose. If you rhyme, you can't lose. Check out my shoes. All right, we're done. Half a cup. So I was reading that not only does vodka give you a little bit of a buzz if you put it into sorbet, it also helps the sorbet be soft and scoopable. Without it, it's a little bit icy in the freezer. So good tip for you, you're welcome. Add booze. Good life tip too. If something could be better, add booze to it. Boom, insta better. And we're gonna whisk it in there. It's just, this is not in the instructions. I just feel like, you know, booze should be thoroughly mixed into whatever you're trying to hide the taste of booze with. Okay, that seems great. So we're gonna take this freezer bowl that's been sitting in this freezer for a couple days, nice and frozen. I'm kind of a veteran at this now because we did this last week with ice crying. So you take your bowl, you put it in there. You take your ingredients, you put it in there. Boom, take whatever this is. We don't know, we don't care. You put it in there, put the lid on it, and then you just let it do its thing for 20 minutes. Happy Independence Sorb Day! I actually saw that from one of you guys, slap it high. See you in 20 minutes! Hi.
Hi, it's been way longer than 20 minutes. The consistency after 20 minutes was like a slushy consistency and I wasn't sure if that was because it needed longer or if because we put too much vodka and vodka does not freeze. So I put it in the freezer for another 30 minutes and we'll see if it's the right consistency now. It still looks about the same consistency, but we gotta go. Let's get this red, white, and booze on the road. For presentation, I thought we'd put this in a martini glass because we cute. I'm just gonna scoop out like maybe three tiny scoops into this martini glass. It's kind of a slushy consistency, but I kind of don't care. It looks really great, like really refreshing. And then I have raspberries and blueberries that I'm gonna sprinkle on either side to make it a true red, white, and booze. Well, like red, pale, yellow, and and booze. Ha, 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 ha. This looks amazing. I like complimenting myself. This looks good. And there we go. A red, white, and blue boozy sorbet for all of your friends and family. All of those friends you have. I just have my husband. <gasps> Aw, cute. I'm gonna take some pictures of this before it melts and then we're gonna see if it's tasty. Yo, Seth. Don't talk to them yet. I'm not ready. Why not? I can talk to them. They're my people too. Happy 4th of July. Hey, thanks, Bob. All right. Cheers. What do we got here? Oh, we cheers it. Oh, we drink it like that. Well, it's a boozy 4th of July lemon sorbet that was actually requested by you guys last week. A lot of you requested that we do a boozy sorbet. That's tight. Which I wouldn't have thought of. I was just gonna do I've a regular. I've never heard of it my whole life. Me neither. I mean, I'm sure doing a margarita would have been easier, but not quite as fun. Ready? Dang. Holy ball. That's good as fuck. That's so damn good. Wow. Whoa. That's tasty. That's so tasty. That is so tasty. Is this a tasty Tuesday or Thursday? I'm talking about I know. You don't even know anymore. We don't even know. I can't believe I just said that as a grown man. <laughs> I should upload on a Friday just to throw everybody off. I was at a Target earlier and these girls saw me and they screamed. But I didn't know that they were screaming because they recognized me from YouTube or whatever. And you then, thought you just looked like a scary, ugly person? No, I just saw that the girl screamed. Uh -huh. and then I'm walking around later and I see them in front of me, like not even seven minutes later. Mm -hmm. And they're watching a Tasty Tuesday video. <laughs> And I'm like, you guys watching some cool vids? Like I, I got freaked them out, you know, because I was, because I was like behind them. I was like, you guys watching some Aww. cool vids? And they're like, oh, oh my God, yeah! I was just showing her that to you. That's so cute. Well, do they look old enough to make this? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make this, girls. No are... offense if you're not, but you, oh. yeah, you look like. Hey, if you're not old enough, you can make it without the booze easily. You could just make it without the booze. But also, if you don't have an ice cream maker, you can make it without an ice cream maker too. You can just put it in the freezer, and then when it's almost hardened, you mash it with a fork, and then, and then, and then, I don't know. How, boo how boozy is this, dude? <laughs> Damn. I forgot the other steps. Already? You mash it with a fork, and then I think you put it back in the freezer. Or do you put it in a blender? I don't know, you can do it. I'm gonna leave a link down below. You follow the link, they'll tell you what to do way better than I could tell you what this to do. This is boozier than I thought. <laughs> Dude, this is honestly really damn good. Right? Because I'm a fan of fruity ice cream. Like, that's my shit. This is so good. And this is like, I mean, it's like epic. Definitely make this. Yeah, make this shit. So I'm right. this whole thing. Well, happy Independence Day. If you're not from here in America, then happy whatever day. Just make this. What do you need? What do you want from me? Hey. Hmm. What do you call a husband that's lifted a lot of weights? I'm Steve Green. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. A sorbet. <laughs> Oh. Subscribe so if you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. Bye. I want an annulment.